In this Photoshop tutorial, we are going to merge these two photographs using masks and layers. Now what we want to do is take this picture of Mars here, and you kind of see how the Martian sky is very bland. No offense to the Martians, by the way. But we're going to go ahead and remove the sky out of the Martian landscape picture and take this picture of the sky and merge it into the Martian photograph. Now if you want to follow along, as usual I will provide the links in the description of this video. And make sure you download the exact resolution that I'm using. So for the clouds image you want the 1280 by 960 and for the Martian image you want the 1280 by 954. So what we need to do is import those two images and we need those images to be separate layers. So how to do that? Well there's a couple different ways. The main way to do it from Photoshop is to go up to File then go ahead and select scripts and then you're going to select load files into stack and then what we're going to do is browse to those images and you can just select both of those images and then once you have them selected just go ahead and hit OK and now you'll notice in the layer panel we have two separate layers for our images which is exactly what we want and you will also notice that when you import two images, neither one of the images are set as a default. In other words, remember when we imported an image in the previous tutorial, it was locked. That is not the case when you import multiple photos. So just keep that in mind. So what we want to do again is take the sky from this photo and place it into our Martian landscape. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and drag our clouds photo to the bottom because this will be our main image that we're going to work against. So we want this on top. And let's go ahead and just drag this into the middle here so we have a little bit more room to play around with. Now let's go ahead and reselect our Martian image. And again, I just want to point out, you always want to make sure that you have the correct layer selected because this is the image we want to work against. This is the main image that we're going to work against. So again, what we want to do is keep everything in the Martian landscape and eliminate the sky. So what we're going to do is go ahead over here to the left and use the lasso tool. So what we're going to do is start right here, and I'm actually going to cut this in right below the horizon. And now you can cut this a little bit closer if you want, but obviously I need to move a little bit quicker since I'm doing a tutorial. So let's go here. We're going to go right below the edge, and then we're going to go off the edge of the photograph. And the reason we're going to do this is we don't want to cut the edges in below. And if you circle around like this, like I'm doing, and then we're just going to connect right up here at the beginning, and you see how that snapped in place here? We actually didn't have to cut this in. So that's actually a nice little feature of the lasso tool. So now, how do we get rid of this Martian sky? Well, we can use masks, something we learned about in the last video. But we're going to use a slightly different mask in this video. So I want you to go to Layer, I want you to go to Layer Mask, and we're going to select Reveal Selection. And what this will do is basically reveal everything that we just selected with our lasso. But what's nice about this is it will hide everything that was not selected by the lasso. So let's go ahead and hit this and you'll see how this works. And take a look at that. It worked. Basically everything in our lasso was saved and everything outside of the lasso was hidden. So it's kind of a dual mask. It works very nicely when you want to blend photographs. And you'll see over here on the thumbnail, I didn't actually talk about this in the last video, but you can see, remember white shows everything that's revealed. And you can kind of see that in the thumbnail. And you can see up here at the top, black, which hides everything, is also shown in this thumbnail. So it kind of gives you a representation of the masks that we're using. And remember what I talked about in the last video, that if we have any layers below, that content will be revealed. And that's exactly what's happening here, right? We hid the top portion of this photograph, and so this layer's content is exposed, which is what we wanted. So that's one way that you can blend photographs using masks and layers. Now one more thing I would like to show you. If we go back up to layer and then select layer mask, the high selection is basically the opposite of the reveal selection. It does the same thing. The only difference is everything that you have selected will be hidden and everything that is not selected will be revealed. So you can play around with both of these when you merge your photographs. Okay, and as always, thanks for watching.